Bountiful Beetles. Nearly three hundred million years before the dawn of man, there were beetles. No, not those beetles. Those are B E A T L E S. Those old fossils are extinct. We're talking about beetles with staying power. B E E T L E S. Some fifty million years before there were dinosaurs, there were beetles, and nearly sixty-five million years after dinosaurs went extinct, beetles still thrive on the earth. Today, beetles make up the largest group of animals on earth. Oh, nearly one fourth of all animals are beetles. There are nearly three hundred and fifty thousand different species of beetles that we know of, and scientists think there may be thousands of other beetle species that we haven't even discovered. Beetles live on every continent except Antarctica. You find them in all environments, from deserts to rainforests, from lakes to mountain tops. You'll even find beetles on polar ice caps. Wow. Some beetles live in and around our homes. Oh, well, that's okay. You're probably familiar with a few of them by their common names: ladybugs, June bugs, fireflies, or lightning bugs, weevils, potato bugs. Beetles come in more colors, shapes, and sizes than any other animal group. Some beetles are more than six inches long. Others are so small they can fit through the eye of a needle. Beetles have developed a lot of different ways to protect themselves. Unlike other insects, beetles have thick, hardened front wings called elytra that cover most of their body and back wings, giving them great protection. When the beetle flies, the elytra spread apart so the back wings can move fast enough to make the beetle fly. Some beetles, like the leaf beetle, pull their legs and antenna under the elytra, using it like a turtle uses its shell. Other beetles are able to trap moisture under their wings, helping them survive in deserts where water is scarce. Some ladybird beetles release sticky yellow blood from their legs to gum up the antenna and mouth parts of predators who try to attack. Ground beetles spurt out acid that can burn the skin and cause eye damage. Leaf beetle larvae are very poisonous. Kalahari bushmen use leaf beetle larva poison on the tips of their hunting arrows to help kill their prey. Brightly colored beetles usually taste so bad other animals won't eat them. Other beetles use camouflage to blend into their surroundings. The beetles' antenna work like feelers to help them find food, a mate, and places to lay eggs. This special body part also alerts the beetle to vibrations in the air that could mean a predator is near. Beetles also have good eyesight. Most beetles have compound eyes that are divided into many six-sided compartments. Compound eyes are very sensitive to movement and can probably see in color. Beetles that rely on vision for hunting or breeding have larger eyes. Beetles that swim on the surface of ponds, like whirligig beetles, have divided eyes: one half for seeing underwater, the other for seeing above the water. Diving beetles capture surface air and store it under their wing covers so they can breathe underwater. Sunburst diving beetles carry a bubble on their rear end. The bubble pulls oxygen from the water and helps the beetle stay underwater longer. Most beetles also have a very good sense of smell to help them find food. Another reason beetles have survived so long is their very diverse diet. Beetles eat almost everything: plants, other insects, carcasses, even dung. What? Beetles that live in water eat fish and tadpoles. 
A beetle's front jaws, called mandibles, vary in size and shape depending on the species. Beetles use their mandibles for killing prey and fighting their enemies. Beetles that hunt and kill other insects have extended mandibles that can seize, cut, or crush their prey. Beetles that feed on nectar have special tube like mouthparts. Like other insects, beetles have three body segments. They are the head, where the beetle's eyes, mouth, brain, and antenna are found, the thorax, where the beetle's six legs, its wings, and its elytra are attached, and the abdomen. The life stages of most beetles are very similar to butterflies. They go through a complete metamorphosis with four stages egg, larva, pupa, and adult. People find beetles to be both good and bad. Many beetle species are pests that cause millions of dollars in damage to plant products. For example, pine bark beetles attack trees that are used for lumber to build houses. Woodworm beetles actually eat the houses, or at least the wood floors and furniture in the house. However, not all beetles are bad for people. <laughs> Farmers use ladybird beetles to eat aphids and other insects that might hurt crops. Ground beetles feed on potato beetles that destroy potato crops. Dinner is served. Other beetles help keep the land clean by eating animal waste, rotten food, and animal carcasses. Without the dung beetles that roam rangelands and pastures, animal droppings would not get rolled up and buried. Hot stuff coming up! Parasites and other disease carrying pests, such as flies, would thrive. Seeds in the dung would not get dispersed. Nutrients in the waste would be washed away rather than return to the ground. On a more fragrant note, beetles also pollinate flowers. In addition, Beetles eat other insects to help keep insect populations in balance. <coughs> And some beetles are so brilliantly colored they are actually used for making jewelry. Whether they are our friend or our foe, beetles deserve our admiration for their staying power, 300 million years and counting, their diversity, more than 350,000 species that we know of, and their dazzling beauty. A vast array of sizes, shapes, and colors. What a dull world it would be without these bountiful beetles.